Hi everyone, today we're going to go over six drills you can do at home to improve your ball control. Now these drills are mainly aimed at U7, U8 and U9, but they can be used for older age groups too. So the first three we're going to go over are more stationary drills, where the player won't move too much, but they'll get plenty of touches on the ball. The next two are more short distance movements. We're going to move in no more than three to five yards to the left, right, forwards and backwards. And then stick around to the end where the last drill is more of a time challenge where you can challenge not only yourself but also your teammates so you can get the fastest time through that challenge. With all that being said, let's get started. We start off with foundations. Now for this you want to have your feet shoulder width apart and you're knocking the ball between your feet with the inside of both feet. Simply back and forth, getting the momentum, getting that rhythm. standing still move on to the progression so do a square around the ball you can use cones or any other objects and I was going to do foundations going around the square in any direction you like Second draw toe taps, have the ball in front of you, have one foot on the ball, lift that foot off the ball and replace it with the other foot. I'm trying to go as fast as we can in this, making sure we're getting plenty of touches on that ball. A progression for the toe taps will be to place down two cones, about one step apart from each other, and then we're going to do toe taps in a figure eight in and out of those cones. stationary drill will be the sole roll so for this one you're going to roll it with your left foot the sole of your foot over and catch it with your right and then roll it back to the left again you can start off going relatively slow as if we were walking and then work your way up to get yourself into a little jog progressing to the moving drills the first one and moving sole rolls so for this one place two cones about three steps apart we're going to do the same sole roll we previously did but this time we're going just over two times and stopping with the other foot two times and then stop with the other foot Our second movement drill is outside inside. So for this, place down your cones about five to seven yards apart from each other. And then we're gonna use the outside of the left foot, inside of the left foot, outside of the right foot, inside of the right foot. We're moving back and forth between both feet in between these cones, trying to get as many touches as we can before we get to the end. And now it's time for our zigzag time challenge. So place a cone down, take three steps forward, then turn to the left, take two steps and place another cone down. Get back to that center line, continue three steps forward again. Now go to your right two steps and place that cone down. Back to the center, forward again, three steps, turn to your left, place two steps, put the cone down, back to the middle, and then three steps again and place that cone down and that's how we set up the zigzag time challenge. The aim of this challenge is to get around every single cone, do a full rotation around the last cone and then sprint back to that first cone. Test yourself, see how fast you can go 
and make sure you challenge your teammates too. So there you go, six drills to help you improve your ball control all while being at home. Remember to video yourself, record the time you get on this drill, test yourself and test your teammates. Most importantly, have fun and good luck.